we all love a good FAQ and the best way to display an FAQ, as we all know, is in an accordion. So you see a question, you click, it brings down the answer, nice and simple. And believe it or not, about a year or so ago, this was not a feature on Squarespace. You had to basically add it in via a, a code for, or like a, like a plugin. So thankfully, it's not like that anymore. And I'm gonna show you how to add and customize your accordion blocks on Squarespace. So we're on the website, and what you first want to do is find, okay, where do I want to put my accordion? Usually it's going to be either on a home page, a contact page, or you're going to have a dedicated FAQ page. So if we go into website, we can see we've got all our pages here. Let's say you want to add a dedicated FAQ page and you don't want it to be in the main nav. So anything in here in main navigation is shown up here. Maybe we just want to put it as a link in the footer. And so, we would put this in non-linked for now. Click, and then we can use page layouts. And I think there's actually something for FAQ pages anyway. So we click this. And the really weird thing is Squarespace doesn't have like any accordions in these templates, which I mean, not here to do Squarespace slander, but that is a really weird choice. So anyway, we click this. We've got an FAQ, so we'll take out the one because that's stupid. There we go. And then we go into edit. I mean, you can do this with a blank page. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to add a section in. And then what we'll do is just add another blank section. So we add this and then we want to add block. And then we want to find accordion. So we've got that. And then just size this to whatever you want. And then drag it into the middle. Well, it doesn't have to be in the middle, but I think that looks best. And then we've got the base of the accordion. So to actually edit what's inside the accordion and how it looks, we want to double click it. And this is going to bring up this menu. So here is where you can edit the items. So let's say this is going to be your question. It doesn't have to be an FAQ, but most people use it as an FAQ. So accordion, let's just say, is Sam the coolest dude on YouTube? Slash the world description will be your answer and obviously it's yes so question answer and then you can change the description style as you would in the text editor so you can make it bold italicized underlined if you want you can add a link or you can remove all the formatting you can move your items about just by dragging the tabs so let's say you want to move that to the bottom easy peasy if you want to get rid of it just click the bin obviously we don't want to get rid of that brilliant question but you can get rid of these and then you can actually click in and duplicate if you like the setup. I don't know why you would, but you can duplicate too. Then we move into design. So what I'll do is I'll move this and I'll resize this so you can see the changes in real time. Okay, there we go. So click design and then you can edit first off the size of the title. So you've got all of your font sizes to pick from. Let's just make it really big and stupid. You can change the alignment. But you know what? I always make it look big and stupid. Let's make it look half decent. So we'll put it as H4. Go back and your description. So by default, the width is going to be set to medium, which I think looks a bit silly. So I just always set this to large. Padding medium is fine. And then you can do your um, alignment as well. I always just tend to stick with left just because... If everything's middle aligned in an accordion, it just, it looks weird, especially because you've got the um, the accordion icons here as well. It just, it just doesn't work for me. So go back into design. Expand first item so you can land, like when someone lands on the page, this can be expanded. Not really a fan of that either. Allow multiple items open. So uh, let's just save and go out and then you can see what I mean. So if you were to click this, Usually, when you click this, this will automatically close. But with multiple items open, does what it says on the tin, you can have everything open. Again, I tend to opt out of this. I don't, I don't really like that because what you'll find if someone goes to all the FAQs is the section just gets massive, which looks a bit silly. So let's try that again. We'll take that off. And then dividers. So I always keep dividers on. But what I do is I take the first and the last off. So it looks like this. If you can see top and bottom, first and last, 
they're not there now and I think that looks way better and I'll just compare now toggle them back on and then you can see I mean this is complete personal preference but yeah I don't like it so take them off I said that was going to make it look good in my eyes at least then you can make the lines nice and thick don't know why you'd want to do that but you can and then the opacity I'll usually turn this down so that's quite a good feature then we move on to the icon so you can make this a plus or an add-on. I think add-ons look better. Then you can change the size and then you can change the thickness as well. Um, it li literally any of these work in terms of size. Thickness, yeah, maybe just keep it small. And then you can put the icon to the left or the right. Again, I just stick with right. And then roll padding so you can see how that works. Personal preference, I'll just keep it on medium. And then finally, you can add a background. So if you wanted the background to be something like, let's go with black, and then you can give it a little border radius as well. Maybe, yeah, medium padding's okay. So obviously, you'll then have to change the color of the dividers if you were to do that. So you'd go into site styles by clicking the brush, colors, you'd find lightest one. And then what we do is we'd go to accordion, we'd go to accordion block a divider color on background, which is a mouthful and turn that to white. And then you can see we got that, but then we need to do the icons as well. So we go icon color on background. There we go. Hit save. There is your accordion block. Hopefully this helped. If it did, make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.